Howdy y'all, my name is Zach and today I'd like to talk about the Nintendo Switch Online service. We got three new games and I don't think any of them are really worth it yet again. And I really do just want to talk about how worthless at the moment I believe the Nintendo Switch Online service is and why I think it needs to be severed apart. One side having the virtual console games that were more traditionally offered as individual games and then an online service that they can charge for. Because that's what Nintendo wants to do. It's what they want to do the whole time. That's why in 2018 we copped the service to begin with. And with that, I'd like to flesh all this out in this video. So, come in. The three games that came out in July, all of which don't really have much interest. Uh, most people that I've seen really don't care about it. The video release on YouTube about it is just horribly being ratioed down. I'll flash that on because holy cow it's bad. And just listen to three these three games to let me know which of these three classic Nintendo games you know about. Uh, the first one being Claymates for the Super Nintendo. The second one being Jelly Boy for the Super Nintendo. It's a PAL version too apparently. And Bomboozle for the Super Nintendo. All of these are Super Nintendo games too. Kind of odd we're not getting an NES game but whatever. All right, these three games suck at the end of the day. They don't look all that interesting and no hate if you enjoy them. No hate if you want to play them. I'm not here to tell you you shouldn't. I'm just here to say I just don't think they're all that good. And this is really what I want to talk about is I feel like there's not a great value in NSO right now. I really think Nintendo came out with these uh, virtual console-esque designs for a subscription now because they couldn't charge $20 just to play online because holy shit at the server's bad. So just know how poorly these games play. Look at something like Super Smash Bros or the early Mario Maker 2. Both of these had egregious issues with their online services and both of which are only really patched up so that they work somewhat well. Neither of these two really play good and that's the big issue. No matter what fashion of way you want to play online, you're going to be missing something that's available on the other consoles, which sucks. I don't know why Nintendo does this constantly to where they make these weird choices with their online service, but I think they realized in 2018, whenever they came out with the online console, that yeah, we can't just charge a bunch of money for this because it just won't sell. So they threw in the uh, what would be virtual console games with the NES and Super Nintendo online services, which I don't think was a bad idea. I actually think it makes sense to do this. I do personally wish we just had the virtual console because I really just want like a couple of the old Zelda games, a couple of the old Mario games. Those are what I like. I could care less about F-Zero. I could care less about the tennis games, baseball games, shit like that. It really doesn't matter. But for $20 a year, yeah, that's the price of what, like four-ish uh, NES or SNES games on the previous virtual consoles, and you get a hundred, but like right around forty. That's like a value to play, which it's a valuable thing. It's not, it's not garbage. I mean, which is what Nintendo does. It's not bad. It's actually usually pretty good. Something interesting to buy, but they charge more than they should, and that's basically what I'm mad at with the virtual console as it stands now. It's not here, but you're getting, you're charging more for something that I may not want fully, and I have no choice. And that's what I want Nintendo to do. Instead of having the system that they have now with NSO and having these consoles wedged in to justify their price, they need to split the two up. Split the two up, make it cheaper, or I can buy each console individually. Say I don't want the NES games, only the SNES games, or maybe even come out with their new consoles, because everyone thinks we're going to get Game Boy soon, which would be awesome. But say like they had Game Boy and Super Nintendo and NES, and then even something like Nintendo 64, all out where you could buy each of these consoles individually for like 5 to $10 a year, it would be incredibly valuable, and that's what I think they need to do. Doing this would let you choose just what you want, and in the event you don't play many multiplayer games on the Switch, because let's face it, there's not a ton of them, then that would be awesome. Personally, I don't even use my Switch for many online games at all. The game I play online the most is a free game whenever you buy the NSO service anyways, and that's Tetris 99. 
So it would be really cool to see. I can choose what consoles that I want to buy because I'd only get Super Nintendo. NES games suck. Sorry. Hope I hurt your feelings. You, what, 40-somethings out there that like NES now? Holy cow. But, uh, yeah. I would want SNES Online and then maybe buy the NSO service itself. Maybe that could be $10 to $15 a year, too, because Nintendo has to make their money somehow. They're not going to make it cheap for you. That's for sure. And so if you let people choose what they want in a similar fashion to what the other consoles do already, then I think it would be valuable because, let's face it, these other companies do it also. Xbox, their other service entirely is separate. If you want to go buy Game Pass, you can go do it just by Game Pass. You can buy Xbox Live by itself. PlayStation, while not as good because they either charge more or it's not as good as Xbox's services, you can still go buy PlayStation Plus by itself. Go buy PlayStation Now even later. Or even buy PlayStation View, I think is the name of it. I don't know. They have so many random services. But you can do stuff like that separately. And while they cost a heck of a lot more, don't hear me justifying the price. But even though they cost more, you get choices with it all. And I, I just, I want people to understand there's a good value that can be had in actually being able to make choices. And Nintendo really should consider that with their console because they really need to do a lot more with their consoles for it to really feel like a full fleshed out console as opposed to, oh, this is cool. We just kind of threw a console and a handheld together and it doesn't do either incredibly well. And with that, I think that's all I have to say regarding it because mm, I've been going on for a minute. And with that, if you want to hear an explanation as to why I'm here, not over there, I'll stay here. But if you really don't care about that with the channel, I'll see you later. With that, why the hell am I standing here? Well, my ring light broke a while ago. It sucks. And I'm stuck here at the moment because there's a window right here. I'm sure you see it in the reflection. That's what I'm using for the light on my face right now because if I stand over there, it's way too dark. So, that sucks. And uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and have a great day.